Am I on? Am I on? Okay. Hey everybody, Daryl Lucas here. You you probably imagine imagine I've I've been wanting to speak out on on the horror we saw in, in Washington yesterday, but the what what's a, what's unfolded since the since the since yesterday's events has had me so angry I haven't been able to see straight, so I've had to wait till I've calmed down enough to, to speak up. In case I don't, I say something that could get me a knock on the door from the Secret Service. But here goes everything. As you can probably imagine, if, 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 you, if you've seen my comments on Facebook and Twitter, what I've made it clear: what happened yesterday was was an outrage, something that has that that should not and cannot not be allowed be allowed have happened and cannot ever be allowed to happen again. There, and it's Trump's, 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 Trump's belated acknowledgement that, that he will, that there will be a transition to Biden on, on January 20th is as, is as hollow as I've ever seen from this president because there is no way you can have a truly peaceful transition when the guy who, who, Inside of the, this, uh, in, in this assault on the people's house must, remains in office. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. And I'll keep. As a matter of fact, I'm yelling it right now. We need to find a way to get this thug, this gangster, out of the White House before January 20th. In impeachment, 25th, or the 25th Amendment, and whatever. Just get him the hell out of the White House. And, and preferably, he needs to be be, be be escorted out of there in handcuffs, which is why I believe we, they need to they need to not only we impose the Twenty Fifth Amendment on him, but also, if possible, we'll impeach and remove him. So any talk of him not being able to be be indicted just by virtue of being president it goes out the window. Though you would think that if there was ever a, a circumstance to call for an exception to that rule. It would be when a, a president incites a riot and an insurrection. But what I what in the aftermath of, the, of yesterday's horror, I something I, almost as outrageous happened. Members of both the House and Senate, even after <clears throat> for this horror, still saw fit to object to the certification of, of electoral votes from Arizona and Pennsylvania. Now, it was bad enough that they continued to do so even after Trump was caught on tape, tape shaking down Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, trying to get him to, to find enough votes to overturn Biden's lead, which should have proven not just beyond reasonable doubt, but beyond all doubt, that he, he is the one, one who was trying to steal this election. Because... When I, when I saw that, I think thought back to my to how I got suckered into joining this this is off the charts abusive of campus ministry in my college days of Carolina when I I told them yeah them about overwhelming evidence that the so-called pastor of their 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 mother church was hiding his his, his pastor in a in one of the more notorious campus cults of the 70s and 80s and their response was basically. So what? They they knew what 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 their this past was doing, knew had to know it was wrong, and yet they were they were still willing to do his bidding. That's exactly what those who were who were that's what exactly I believe before these riots, someone who they those who saw them fit to still object were doing. They they had to have known, like the rest of the nation. The Trump was the one try, trying to steal this election, and they st they went along with it anyway. But I was will would have been willing to 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 let off on calls for them to, to resign uh, if they'd had the decency to to pull back their objections hey, in the wake of these riots after after at least out of consideration for the safety of their fellow of their colleagues. And to their credit. A number of Republicans didn't decide not to object. Off the top of that, I can remember seeing Kelly Leffler, who was about to be, 
was about to lose her Senate seat in Georgia, and, and Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers of Washington. A few others did, but a good number of them did not do so, including the, believe it or not, the two highest ranking Republicans in the House, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy and minor, Minority Whip Steve Scalise. As a matter of fact, I have a posted on it on Daily Coast, which I'll have linked up in the in the comment section, an article in which Cook Rule Political Reports Dave Washerman recalled McCarthy told him numerous times that he knew Biden had won, and yet, yet McCarthy did not have the decency to either to at least abstain, even if he didn't feel like he could have. He couldn't have acknowledged Biden won. So, it, well, it cannot be stated enough. The leader of the House Republicans knew, knew that, that all this innuendo about the elections and being stolen led, led to think to led to election officials on both sides of the aisle, as well as employees of the of these, these elections, of these ballot software companies being harassed, trolled, and threatened. Who knew that that the, that, he, that his own president had been caught on tape shaking down there, down George on Raffensperger in a manner that, that you, you expect more from, from a mob boss than a president. And he, and most importantly in my mind, he knew he was willing, still willing to do this despite all this, this this outright bunko causing a direct attack on the Capitol which threatening the safety of, of, of his colleagues from both parties. In other words, McCarthy had McCarthy and, and others in the half McCarthy and other Republicans had a chance to, you know, lead. And they blew it eight ways to Sunday. <sighs> I mean, they... now most of you know who've known me for a long time know I wear my Democratic loyalties on my on my sleeve. But but when I say that I'm a Christian, an American, and a Democrat in that order, I mean it. So believe me when I say that if if the shoe had been on their foot and and, and Democrats have been doing this. I'd be just as outraged as I am now. Now, matter of fact, matter of fact, it would have been enough for me to to cast aside my part, my democratic loyalties, and become an independent. That's what I'm hoping that that those Republicans who who voted to uphold the election results do do. Like like Adam King Kensinger of Illinois, who I understand is the about the only elected Republican who has called for the Twenty Fifth Amendment. This, there is no place whatsoever for this sort of behavior in our society, and the thought that the, not that our elected officials, including and especially the leader of the House Republicans, are are condoning this, it just, it makes me sick, absolutely sick. Now, I know that quite a few of my friends are, into Trump supporters. I don't begrudge, I don't begrudge you guys for that. But I do begrudge the, as those in a, those, those of what passes for leadership in the GOP for enabling this, this, this criminal, this gangster in the White House. You are responsible for the, for what happened yesterday, and, and rest assured, you, you will have to answer for it. Maybe, maybe not in this world, but, but this country will not forget what you. You did, or rather, what you failed to do. And you can you better believe that I'll be doing everything I can to make sure that happens. That is all.